So I was watching that One Piece episode 5 billion, you know. Didn't get to see Roger beat that ass, but it was an interesting thing about, I mean, I think I thought about it before because, you know, somebody reads the manga, you know, he's talking about it because, what was that like? Man, I feel like it was years that it came out in the manga. I don't know. I don't read the manga. Anyway, get back to it. Something that I just wanted to, like, you know, point out. So, Roger, right? At the point that Whitebeard died, Roger had been dead for 20-something years. Yet, his bounty was still... What around five hundred thousand higher? And then you gotta also think that Roger was a good pirate. So his bounty wouldn't rise as much in reference to his power level as the evil pirates. Like the more evil, like the most evil pirates, the bounty tends to be higher than the power level. Whereas the good pirates it tends to be lower than the power level. And then the ones in the middle, you know, kind of reflects it a little bit. Anyway, so then you got the white bear, right? So white bear, he died two plus years before where it's currently at. And his bounty is still higher than Kato and Big Ma. And, and it's just, it just makes you think about like, damn, if they would have never died, how strong would they be?